A protester takes a beating at the end of a baton tonight on the UC Berkeley campus. Police there ordering a quick end to an occupation just as it was getting started. Good evening, I'm Dan Ashley. And I'm Carolyn Johnson. Police say they can protest, just not camp out. So when the tents started going up, the law started moving in. Sky 7 HD is over Sproul Hall, live tonight, where a large crowd, as you can see, is still gathered. ABC 7's Alan Wong is on the ground and live for us tonight. Alan, go ahead. Uh, Dan, you are looking live at an incensed crowd that has grown to about 400 people out here on Sproul Plaza. They are facing down about 100 riot police officers after an intense clash around 930. The police swept into Sproul Plaza from two sides and immediately engaged the students who were three deep with arms linked around the eight Occupy Cal tents that they were protecting. The crowd of spectators immediately rushed in to meet the police face to face and began chanting peaceful protest, peaceful protest. As the tension escalated, plenty of people started feeling the business end of a billy club as the officers bulldogged their way toward the tents and began tearing them down. The crowd stayed in their face the whole time chanting shame, shame, and several of them were wrestled down and placed in plastic handcuffs. At last count, 22 males and 10 females were arrested. Now, earlier tonight, Vice Chancellor Harry Legrand warned the crowd they would be arrested if they camped here, used sleeping bags, cooked, or even slept in Sproul Plaza. He was booed off by the crowd, and about two hours later, the police marched in with a strategic plan to pinch off the protesters and regain the tiny patch of grass that was Occupy Cal. I think this is a really horrible effort at crowd control, if you want to call it that. I also think there's some really bad tactical decisions and decisions being made by the administration towards peaceful protesters. Um, so, you know, how is this going to end? What is the positive for the administration and the university? Certainly not positive for the community. I thought it was excessive force. I think there's, you know, there's some tents on the lawn. I get that they're breaking a rule, but I think that the force that we saw was far in excess of what was what any crimes that were committed, if any were committed at I just think I, I think it's it's really wrong when students can't assemble peacefully. Um, there's no space on campus for us to assemble uh, 24 hours in this in this magnitude. And so when UCPD when we're when we're just here standing here and UCPD is shoving students out of the way is beating students with batons. That's that's unacceptable. Okay, now what's happening out here live on Sproul Plaza right now is that the police have withdrawn from their positions on the steps which uh, excited the crowd. Everyone started taking up every inch of real estate that the police gave up, and now they are back up on the steps with their back against the wall here. Uh, we don't know how this is going to end, of course, but these people don't seem to be leaving and don't want to until they get that patch of grass back. More than half the crowd documented this whole thing on uh, digital devices, so uh, we believe that a lot of this is going to be hitting the Internet uh, within the next hour. Again, uh, things still uh, pretty wired out here on Sproul Plaza here at UC Berkeley. I'm Alan Wong reporting live. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Alan. We want to take you back now live to UC Berkeley and Sproul Plaza, where, as you can see, there are hundreds of protesters gathered in a line of police as well. And it has been very tense. ABC 7's Alan Wong is there on the ground for us. Alan, update us, please. Uh, yeah, Dan, I'm going to have to correct my last crowd count. Let's go up to Sky 7, and you can see there are actually about 1,500 people out here in Sproul Plaza. It swelled from about 200 after riot police muscled their way into the students who were protecting eight tents that made up their newly established Occupy Cal camp. 32 students were arrested in the clash that had police tearing down tents and holding off the incensed crowd. The police have since withdrawn to the top of the steps with the crowd taking every inch of real estate that they give up. Now back live down here on the ground, the mood is loosening up, but these students seemed determined to take back and reoccupy Cal. Reporting live in Sproul Plaza, I'm Alan Wong, ABC 7 News. All right, thank you, Alan.